What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're doing a Pokemon video. We are trying to get everyone even more hyped for Hidden Fates. Uh, even though Unified Minds is about to hit, you know, I want to keep emphasizing that the prize is further down the road in my opinion uh, obviously I could be wrong but I am like a hundred percent in on the idea that Unified Minds is, is, is a trap you know if you be patient you know and don't spend all your money on it you'll be very happy if you wait for Hidden Fates especially the ETBs so we're gonna go through the cards that were featured in the Japanese set of Ultra Shining GX uh, kind of go through all the cards that should be in the Hidden Fates set uh, bar some like the um, Family Tin cards and the Stained Glass uh, Legendary Birds tag team so let's just jump right into it and we're actually gonna start with all the full art supporters I did leave these Excuse me, in the sleeve, so sorry about the glare uh, with from the sleeves, but so the one thing I do think that Pokemon missed out on is the value of another printing of all the full art supporters because you know all, most of these will be out of rotation already. Like Cynthia will survive, so I think this card will be sought after, but like man, if they did this uh, a year ago, like Guzma would have. I feel like people would be chasing Guzma hard. Fisherman, always a always a pretty cool card. I think he has homes in some decks. Ingo and Emmett. Hiker. I can never remember all your names. I think this one's Nita, because <laughs> we did pull it. And so yeah, the full art supporters, nothing new there. It's kind of just like a alternate, literally just not even alternate art, it's just another printing. And it does not put him back in the standard rotation, I'm fairly certain. All right, let's go into some of the shinies. This is where the this is what we're looking for um, in Hidden Fates, and I'm very curious what the ratios will be. We kind of talked about this in yesterday's video, but we're starting off with a big one. Slight there, I feel like the art is not that crazy, and the shiny is very similar to the regular. So to be honest, I'm disappointed in Sight there. But either way, Sight there is such a cool Pokemon, one of my favorite ones from Gen One. So uh, definitely would like a couple copies of that. Rowlet, very cute. I feel like Rowlet comes up a lot. You know, this, the screen promos. I guess that's it. <laughs> yeah, I've opened some of the GX boxes. We have Dark Tricks. And then, so the final evolution will be in the SSR slot, which we'll get to later on. Wimpod. I kind of like the Wimpod. He's kind of cute. And then we have Pheromosa. This uh, this one's not nothing crazy. In fact, like it's the same art as the other one, too. And then boom, even though this one doesn't, the shiny's not that different, this one will definitely be sought after this whole evolutionary line. So if you can pick up your uh, few copies, I do think it would be worth it. I wouldn't spend too much though. Charmeleon. I think I kind of like the Burning Shadows art a little bit better. And this one is one of my favorites. The Alolan shiny doesn't really change much, but still, uh, my one of my probably my favorite species for Alolan. Wooper, we we pulled this yesterday for the Korean set. Yeah, so we opened a Korean box yesterday. If you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. Shiny Wooper. And then Quagsire, not as big a fan as Quagsire. He's kind of he looks super derpy, where uh, Wooper just looks super happy. Froki, really cute. This one I imagine would be really popular. Frogadier, and ooh, then we have to wait for the GX. Um, Voltorb, I often get Voltorb and Electrode messed up. I'm pretty sure this is Voltorb. Uh, Zergatry, last time yesterday I called it something else. So Viper, this one the art doesn't really change much either. You, I had to like when I pulled it, I had to pull up an image of a normal Viper just to tell what the difference is. Shuppet, not bad. Inke, Inke is okay, but this Balamar. Um, I can't remember if Malamar is rotating out, but this was another one that like, I feel like people would have loved to swag their decks with. Poipole, this one I do think will be. And <laughs> Pseudo Wudo, so when I first pulled this guy, uh, I feel like if you guys seen Rick and Morty, this guy looks like Pickle Rick. Minus like the pom pom things in his hand, he looks just like him. And maybe just a different facial expression, much more angrier one. Riolu. This I do like the golden version, uh, the, or the shiny version. It, the kind of like the OG shiny, the magic card where it's just like gold looks so cool. And this is kind of like along that similar color scheme, although it's maybe more orange, but Lycanroc. Ah, Pokemon Masters, guys. I've been pumping a lot of content for that game. It is so much fun. And we got 
the like oh that was a rock rough the lichen rock five star it is so good buzzwall baby buzzwall um is this in this must be in rotation still but i think the big buzzwall is gone so if fighting pokemon still have a chance maybe this would be relevant and this would be a card to look for uh see this is one of the disappointing ones zorua and then zorark are gone from rotation and guzzlord very nice magnemite Ah, I kind of like prefer some of the other arts where he has like his uh, eyes kind of like that. So he looks uh, super happy. Magneton, Magnezone. Ah, these are. Oh, yep, the GX will be coming later on. Uh, we pulled this yesterday as well. And I do like this one. Cartana Shiny. Ooh, Ralts. This weekend, uh, if you're not, if you play Pokemon Go, you're not, don't check the news. Like, I often don't. Some of my coworkers have to tell me what's going on. Shiny Ralts this weekend. Get excited. We're going to, I'm pretty sure I'm going to uh, go do some hunting. And maybe I'll try to make some videos out of it. The Ancy, unfortunately, it's not the Prism Star one. Altaria. This one, so this did come from Dragon's Majesty. So this, uh, you know, people have speculated this will go well with the Zekrom, um, Zekrom Reshiram tag team. But... I'm not convinced. Gibble. Gabite the Vanguard Chomp. This is a pretty cool uh, evolutionary line. Ah, Shiny Eevee. This one will definitely be popular, even though the Shiny Eevee is not very impressive, in my opinion. Swab Blue. Cute. Oh, did I do that out of order? Hey. Noibat. Noibat's kind of cute, and I do like the Shiny version of that. Oranguru. Oh, I love that pink swag. This is a this one is another example of where Pokemon really missed out. This thing, this card would have been super sought after if they did this like a year ago. And then a type null to wrap up the non-GX shiny. And then so now we're going on to the big hits. And we're jumping off with an evolution. We got Leafeon. Any kind of evolution will always be uh, really popular. Um, the shiny variety is not too impressive though. Sidui, pretty cool. Galissapod, I do like Galissapod, that kind of like just white, white version of him. It does, I could see this actually like being really shiny. And there he is, the one at least I'll be going the hardest for. Depending on the pull rates, guys, I feel like this is just the next in line for that, you know, the coveted Charizard cards that everyone's searching for. It started with the Burning Shadows one. Reshi's art, and then this one. I think it's perfectly, t um, it has all the right attributes. The only thing that goes against it is it's the same exact art, just the shiny variety, but I think that will be enough to make this card super popular, super sought after. It's what everyone wants. Oh, oh, very cool. Reshiram doesn't change too much. Turtonator kind of just looks extra glossy, or maybe that's just the sleeve. Alolan Ninetales, even though this one's another example of, well, the shiny variety doesn't change much, still will be a popular card. Articuno, this one is just a shade lighter, but I think that this card has enough, um, you know, legendary status to pull it through. Glaceon, very similar story. Actually, any evolution can get by with anything. Frogadier looks uh, a little darker, which is, that's, that's pretty cool. Electrode, Electrode I feel like is always underappreciated. Zergatry, ooh, another big hitter. Mewtwo. Of course, Mewtwo is going to be popular. I do like the green uh, for the shiny variety. Espeon. This is probably one of the, the best uh, evolution ones in my opinion. Bayonet. Eh. Nihilego, I think. And, uh, oh, this is not the... So, Poipo, maybe, but uh, Naganado, like, that's the wrong one. If it had the other one, the... Although, it wouldn't be a GX at that, that point, but... Uh, that would have been really good for the set, in my opinion. Lucario. And we got Megatron. He's just... I don't know. Megatron's going to be kind of weird. Lycanroc. I do like Lycanroc. Because of Pokemon Masters, I love Lycanroc. This one's cool, too. Ah, uh, big Buzzwall. Uh, out of rotation, unfortunately, I think. Umbreon's not bad. I think um, Espeon's better for the shiny, shiny variation. Darkrai does look pretty cool, I like that purple. Anytime there's like colors you don't expect, I oftentimes appreciate. Zorark I feel like doesn't change much, but such a good card. Missed opportunity right there. Guzzlord. 
Ooh, I do like Scizor. I was like, oh, he's green. That that actually somewhat makes more sense. If it was the other way around, I think that would work too, but <laughs> that works fine. Uh, uh, silver, Metagross. Blank down his name for a second. Cartana, Stack Attacka. Such a cool. Ooh, this one. I want to go in for a bunch of these this weekend, and I'm going to get some of these come this fall as well. Really like that shiny variety. Gardevoir, one of my favorite. Oh, Sylveon! I do like Sylveon. Um, Sylveon, I feel like Espeon was done better, but I really like Sylveon. And then Altari again. Rayquaza, another heavy hitter. Um, this card still is in Standard came out Celestial Storm, but he's just not strong enough anymore. Despite, you know, he's a pretty crazy card, but just not strong enough. But I mean, if someone can figure out how to make it work, maybe he'll become really popular. Noivern, and then Sil Valley. Oh, that's a really cool Sil Valley card for Dream League that I still need to do a video on. And then the Grandpa Dragon, Drampa. He's just okay. And they actually come with the gold card as well. So I have yet to pull a gold card. So this will be my chance to redeem myself uh, come this fall. We got to Tapu Bulu. These gold cards I really like. The fact that a lot of detail is actually missing, like a lot of lines, and it's just like, I don't even know, I don't know what this kind of art is called, but I really like it. Sorry for all the glare. These cards are really hard to see what's going on. Tapu Coco. Uh, oh, I think this is being rotated out. Lele. Lele is probably rotated out too. And then Lunala. This this was a really cool how they did the gold card art. Um, just how it's just the shading. Is that all you see? I'm not sure. And then Dusk Main. Is this uh no Sogaleo? Yeah, Sogaleo. And then old Trinacrosma. Another one where the ditch did the gold art very nicely, and um, yeah, so not not shown are like the Charizard, Gyarados, and I'm missing Raichu. Uh, that's from like the family ten. I do have a couple of those family boxes, but I didn't crack them open, so I can't show that off to you guys. And then the stained glass birds, um, which I wish I could show you. I wish I should have picked up a copy of the Japanese set. That card is so awesome, but we're gonna get a bunch of them in English. That is for sure. So, um, all aboard the Hidden Fates hype train, it occurs to me how much sun is coming in because I'm doing this video in the morning versus in at night. Ooh, maybe that's a little bit better. Maybe I should have had my hands up like this the entire video. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it for today. And um, yeah, Unbroken Bonds coming out soon. Hopefully get my boxes real soon. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.